Good morning and welcome to uh, welcome to lesson 40 out of the first 50 lessons of A Course in Miracles. There are 365 lessons overall, uh, but in our uh, attempts to get past that initial hurdle wherein most people tell me they get stuck in the mid-30s, <laughs> once they hit the holiness lessons, uh, we're up to lesson 40. So um, you'll enjoy this one. It's very short. I'm blessed as a son of God, and uh, I often have people ask me, why aren't I blessed as a daughter of God? And uh, it's really quite simple. Son is a word that doesn't describe necessarily the male attribute of uh, a being or a person or whatever. Son is the second part of the Trinity, right? Now, because this course is written in a Christian dialect, really, or in a Christian vernacular, um, and the Trinity has three aspects, the Spirit, the Creator, and the Son, right? It's only humanity or, or, or man that has decided that we'll use the word son to describe the male offspring of, uh, you know, thing. So we are all the Son of God, just as we are all the Spirit of God, just as we are all the co-creative uh, capacity of God ourself. So uh, in the use of that word, try not to confuse it with gender, Right? There is not an awakened man or an awakened woman. There is only mind awake. Right? And we have uh, many examples of things, especially in the bloody Bible, where things are misinterpreted and uh, mistranslated. And I have an Aramaic Bible in uh, in my room in there, which was accompanied by a um, a book of Aramaic terminology written by a student of Aramaic language and some of the differences in even the word soul, you know, and things like that, some of the descriptive terms that relate to these words that we use commonly and mistakenly apparently today. And remember that Aramaic was the first written language, right? The first spoken language, the language which Jesus spoke. He didn't speak bloody English. <laughs> he wasn't a white fella in a row, in a, in a row with the halo thing like that. He was just like a normal aesthetic kind of a guy, right? Originally a carpenter. Chuck that in, I'll get crucified. Um, so if it does bring up anything for you, if, if the if the lessons from here on in or um, anything, in, in fact, bring up any kind of resistance or any kind of like, what's that about or whatever, Always remember that it's referring to what we are or what I am or let's say what the oneness of um, our association is above or beyond or behind, I don't know how to describe it, outside of the physical parameters of life entirely. All right, so I'll just uh, get cracking. It's only a short one and there's not any big practice periods today, I don't think. So um, we'll just start reading. All right, lesson 40, I'm blessed as a son of God. Today we will begin to insert some of the happy things to which you are entitled, being what you are. No long practice periods are required today, but very frequent short ones are necessary. Once every 10 minutes would be highly desirable, and you are urged to attempt this and to adhere to this schedule whenever possible. If you forget, try again. If there are long interruptions, try again. Whenever you remember, try again. You need not close your eyes for the exercise periods, although you will probably find it more helpful if you do. However, you may be in a number of situations during the day when closing your eyes would not be appropriate. Do not miss a practice period because of this. You can practice quite well under almost any circumstance if you really want to. Today's exercises take little time and no effort. Repeat today's idea and then add several attributes which you associate with being a son of God, applying them to yourself. One practice period might, for example, consist of the following. I am blessed as a son of God. I am happy, peaceful, loving and contented. Another might be something as follows. I am blessed as a son of God. I am quiet, assured and confident. Right? Notice that these are all uh, states of mind. If only a brief period is available, merely telling yourself that you are blessed as a son of God will do. And that's it. Lesson 40. And my battery's about to die on my phone, so uh, we'll leave it there. Lesson 41 tomorrow. God goes with me wherever I go. Because it's 